T-minus 90 seconds and counting, and the rocket, payload, and ground systems all look good at this point. T-minus 1 minute 20 seconds. Second stage log securing at flight level. Second stage LH-2 securing started. RCO, report range go for launch. Range go. LC, this is LD. You are go for launch. Roger, go for launch. T minus 60 seconds. Engine start box, go. T minus 50 seconds. T minus 45 seconds. Launch enable, enable. GE main power off. Main power off. Second stage, LH-2 secure flight level. T-minus 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Green board. T-minus 25 seconds. Flight lock-in. SRM TVC blowdown. T-minus 15 Niners seconds. armed. Roof ignition. T-minus 10, 9, nine Eight, 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 seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, zero. Lift off. One, we have liftoff of the United Launch three, Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying GPS 2F SV 1 for the United States Air Force. The global positioning system serves the U.S. military, America's transportation system, and civilian users around the world. Coming up 20 seconds into the flight. Mark, 20 seconds. Still looking good. Good engine control and roll, and good engine control, pitch and yaw. Thirty-five seconds in. Chamber pressure now beginning to decline on the solid rocket motor one and two, very symmetrically, as we'd expect at this point in the flight. Coming up forty-seven seconds. Passing 47 seconds. That's Mach 1, standing by for one minute. One minute, maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle, max Q. You are hearing the voice of Steve Agad, providing launch vehicle ascent data. Now passing one minute, 10 seconds into the flight. Coming up one minute, 20 seconds. Mark, one minute, 20 seconds into the flight. Standing by for SRM burnout, solid rocket motor burnout less than 10 seconds from now. Chamber pressure uh, reducing in the uh, both solids. Standing by for SEP. And we have SEP. Solid motor one and two have separated successfully from the vehicle. One minute, 47 seconds into the flight. And Steve Agat just confirmed a jettison of the two solid rocket motors, and the mission continues nominally. Our next event is main engine cutoff, our MECO. And now again, let's go back to Steve Agat. Chamber pressure on the main engine continuing to look very, very good at this time. Roll control very good, and main engine pitch and yaw control very good, well within our ability to control. Coming up two minutes, 20 seconds. Now passing an altitude of uh, 32.2 nautical miles, velocity 7,080 feet per second, downrange distance 45.9 nautical miles. Two minutes, 35 seconds in. Still looking good. About one minute, 25 seconds or so until uh, main engine cutoff. Coming up three minutes into the flight. Mark, three minutes in. About one minute now remaining until main engine cutoff. Chamber pressure is holding very solid at this time. Very little uh, roll nozzle activity. Well within our ability to control. Main engine uh, pitch and yaw is good.
Now passing an altitude of 55.2 nautical miles, velocity 13,142 feet per second, downrange distance 135 nautical miles. About 15 seconds now until uh, we go to the partial thrust mode. We'll be in the partial thrust mode for about five seconds, and then we'll have main engine cut off. Standing by for the command to go to partial thrust. And we have partial thrust command, thrust level beginning to drop in the main engine. Standing by for Miko. And we have Miko. Standing by for one, two, sep. We have one, two, sep. Standing by, net speed is now increasing as the nozzle is deploying. Standing by for igniter spark. And we have igniter spark standing by for ignition. And we have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressure is beginning to rise. Good chamber pressure on the second stage. Good steady state value. We have fairing SEP, 